Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued let's play the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight run number three the redemption run. My name is the Flightless Bird this year's story is going to be channel line today we see something we don't think we've seen before chapter nine descent of the damned I'm pretty sure this is brand new so let's jump into it shall we? I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today. The set of the damned, uh, Cedar Steel Mill, 1980. Yeah, we're Linda here. We've never been Linda here before. Yeah, this is completely new. Love or life. Creepy red light coming through here. Sure, that's fine. Everyone? It's like when a busted up bathroom. Oh, a door opens. Never happens. Only all the doors are locked. Could squeeze through there. Could go through here. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that at all. Surely there's a way to the other side. Oh, there's something over here. Fuck. No, a key. Always need one of these. Okay. Who is who here now? Almost looks like she had red hair there due to the light. That was pretty cool. Oh, you got a key for this. A letter? My Whatever darling Frank- locker this was had some serious issues. It's just, I was waiting for you to say something and then as soon as I say something, you interrupted me. <laughs> My darling Franklin Norman. It upsets me when you don't write back. If you aren't sick, you need to be withdrawn from me. Tell me everything, my dear. You know, whatever happens, I'll always be here for you. Nothing in the world could ever stop me loving you. I'll always be in your life. Three weeks ago, you told me making friends was hard. I can sympathize, my love. Precious few are ever worth making. Every time they open the mouth, all you can feel is insects crawling under your skin. Every vapid look forces you to nod and smile and pretend we're listening to what they say. You are too important to be wasted on them, and one day you'll find that place I've always told you about, where you can truly appreciate how much smaller they've always been. Until then we endure, but you do not become. Write back to me soon, Norman. I know you won't leave your ma waiting for too long to hear from her only grandson again. I will always watch over you, love ma. Is Norman... Frank Stone? It does say Franklin. And it's almost like she knew he was a monster. Frank was left psychological vulnerable by his upbringing. Yeah. I don't have a camera, do I? I'm a little bit afraid. Saw that thing there. That's another thing there. An entire section I've never seen before. That's cool. If I fix these boilers, that should shut off the leak. 
What if you could die? I know this is a redemption one, but I have to try. Those steam jets are gonna burn my face off. But that's my only way out. Okay, you cannot get yourself killed here. It's a valve here and a valve here. There's gotta be some way it needs a part. We're searching for parts. Is it back the other way? Maybe over here? Uh, it's... Don't know. The problem with the parts in this game is the parts don't show up until after you've triggered the sequence. So the very male, well, maybe, yep. Very well, maybe a part here. We just had to go back go. for it. Nope, nope. There's still another missing part. Oh, it does say go back and find the missing boiler parts. Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit slow. Sorry. I'm distracted. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on in this place. And it's a little bit creepy. Okay, it's not a little bit creepy. It's a lot of it creepy. What's that? Don't see anything here. I don't like that red light either. That red light's creeping me out. Can't go in the toilets. Oh, right there. You're coming with me, buddy. Sweet. Okay, we found both the parts. Just gotta remember how to get back this way. Sorry, let me cut you off. That sounds promising. No one here? Find a way back to the others. There's a lot of stuff I missed because Linda got hooked. Friends through here? This is creepy. Something on the other side. Something on the floor. Merlin. Merlin. The dog. Bad dog. Tom Merlin's crawler. God. If I ever get out of this maze. I'm gonna take Bonnie's advice and leave Cedar Hills. <laughs> See New York. Fall in love. Fall out of love. Just live a little. You here? <sighs> I hate tight spaces. I do too. Barely. I'm I'm not a brave bird. I'm a very scaredy bird. Heights, small spaces, roaches, just bugs in general. 
I I'm I'm not very brave. <laughs> Okay, that's progress. <clears throat> Where are we going? Oh, a book. Frank Stone. Fuck. Is nope. this Frank Stone's journal? It is. November 12, 1962. I have not heard from her. I did as instructed, but for weeks I have been left alone. Have I failed? Did I not perform my purposes as told? Five names I have taken, but I feel no closer to the path. Every night I dream of the forest, of all darkness all around me. I am afraid, too scared to move forward or cry out because it stands beyond the fog. Sometimes I can see the shapeless forms writhing in the flames like snakes. The hiss of the screams burns my ears. If they are evil, why do they scream? How am I to know evil alone? How can I be sure all of Cedar Hills has not been lost to sin? Should I not just destroy them all and purge the town completely? I will not act without instruction. Stand alone in the forest, waiting to reach the other side. If I cry out, I will be lost. I will wait. Almost sounds like he's been told that he's the purifier of the world. He's killing, not because of his own murderous intent, but because he is the angel of light sent to pierce the darkness and to drive out all evil in mankind. It's kind of like what he's saying here. And of course, he's been twisted by Augustine. 8th of January, 1963. Finally, she has come back to me and she is happy. I have well exceeded her expectations. She says she has found the root of evil, the source of the rot that has eaten at the town. I sit beneath its very foundations. Our Howard Tester is the leader of a wicked coven. From him, the branches of evil stretch out and infect everything. But he is beyond my righteousness judgment. Although he rots in a pit of hell, his spawn still lingers there. D P B K L R J R. Four names, four more trials I must conquer. She tells me not to rush. I cannot make a mistake. I will not fail. I will use the very fires that test of birth to carry out my task. I will turn his creation into the thing that destroys his legacy. I will purify it as I will his town. Man and beast, metal and flesh, bound by fire. Then I will reach the other side and see what it is to be eternal, to be divine. I know what it is to believe. Through the forest, through the forest, the path is clear and the fire waits for me. I will not be afraid. So I see JR there. Jaime Rivera? Is that true? I don't know the other three. That belongs to the museum. Like the artifacts. Frank Stone was heavily influenced by someone. Yes, we know. Miss Augustine. Oh, champion. Complete all the champion artifacts. Oh, we just got like three trophies in five seconds. Kind of incredible. What's this? Oh my god. Alright, maybe we shouldn't look at that. What the heck is that? As creepy as creepy is. Oh. Back where I started? Okay, okay what's then. the other way? I swear, if somebody jumps out at me, I'm oh gonna be so God, mad. This, this place is so fucked. Let's go, Frank Stone's old nest. I, Dwight Allen Parker, write this as my last will and testament. The last time anybody saw me was 21663. Spent the afternoon drinking with Rusty. Dale and a few other guys down at Cedar Creek. By the time I started getting dark, I was getting wasted, and when Rusty tried to get me to move my butt, I got kind of mad and shoved him, which was dumb. Brother, have I paid for it. Rusty got mad and left, so did the other guys. Guess they figured I'd sleep it off and find my own way home. I don't know how long I was asleep, but for when I woke up, this guy was there, a big tall guy. It was real dark, and I couldn't see, couldn't, I could still see through him staring at me. Cold, mean eyes looking right through me. Holy mother of pearl. 
I think this I'm is... underground. This I hear awful. I hear noises above me. It sounds like machines, like a factory or something. I might be in the mill. I've seen the guy a few times. Those damn eyes staring at me. I hear him whispering stuff, but I don't know what he's saying. I think he's going to kill me. I'm so scared, Mom. I wish I could see you again. I wasn't the greatest son. You were always there for me. Couldn't have asked for a better mom. Maybe you're better off without me. I don't know. If you ever read this letter, tell Jesse I'm not mad at him. It was my fault. I was acting like a butt. Same as always, you know I'm sorry for everything I love you. Do I April? DP. Pretty sure DP was one of the initials, wasn't it? Something got over here? Yeesh. What the hell are these things? Plano Lodges. The brilliant mind, the broken psyche. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Pick it back up. Pick it back, pick it back up. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure. So DP, I, I think that was one of the names on here, wasn't it? Yeah, DP, it looks like it was his first victim. Okay, I'm all the way back here. I think I've explored everything. Can I? There we go. Holding buttons sometimes is hard for me. In the house of madness. Hi, Chris. Serious. Yeah, I mean, she's my boyfriend's sister. Boyfriend? Hi, May. What? We, we were just getting a shot, and he was... We were... <gasps> oh, God! Hi, May! Did he get away? Please tell me he got away! I mean, my uncle, Hi, May. Uncle? I really wish there was more scenes in this game explaining why Stan was running. I know I say all the time, but the hell is going on here? Who the fuck is she? After I lost you, I, I found this place, and she was just here. How'd you get here? I, I don't know. I, I think I was brought here. Why? I don't know. Stan. You don't want to be here. Trust me. You came here in this? I, I think so. Do you think it can also take you back? Uh, nope. Please, no, don't make me go back in. If I go back there, it'll kill me. Hey, it's okay. Nobody's making you do anything. But, uh, right now, it's not so safe here either. We should go. Appreciate my support. That's a good idea. Whoever came after me is still out there. Does Sam possibly die here? Don't remember. I need to be on my toes. Linda. Linda? Do you know Linda? Linda Castle? Ah, oh, I get it now. You're a diehard, huh? You follow her here? Follow her? No, we came here together. Sure, you did. 
Where is she? I need to see her. Look, I don't usually like to get involved in any weirdo stalkery kind of shit, but I could be persuaded to make introduction. The price is right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, take two. There we go. Ooh. It's a one shot chance there. Okay. Because if you fail that, he instantly just dies. Okay, okay, got past that. And the thing is, you may say, well, fuck this, why don't you just play that out and rewind it at the end? The, the, the bottom line, though, is I've already seen that. I've already seen when Stan gets crushed and Chris is there. Chapter 11, all paths must cross. Am I glad to see you? The feeling's mutual. Bonnie and I nearly just got our nuts jumped off in the yard. Uh, nuts? Speak for yourself. Whatever that thing is, it does not like nuts. We need a way out of here. Yeah. So, uh... How? There's the storm drain. We could get us out. If we're lucky, we might be able to find a way in from this chamber. It's coming. I don't think there's anything threatening right now. I mean, that passing, closing the noose, that passing is basically the same as previous scenes. What is it? What do you see? I don't see anything. Doesn't mean it's not there. Just when I thought I had a handle on this place. Getting lost in here is like putting your brain through an egg slicer. <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. I, I was just thinking that if someone asked me to explain what happened back there, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. This night just keeps going and going. Yeah. It's like the edges are running. But you know something? We were here for hours and everything was totally normal. Well, you know what I mean. Things only started going off the rails when Sheriff Shithead showed up. You don't know that he's got anything to do with it. You don't know that he doesn't. Wait, I don't remember this. Sheriff, you don't mean Sam Green, do you? Oh, that's right. He died. Oh, no, right. Great. If Sheriff Green and Linda are here, you've got to take me to them, please. I don't know if we should really be traipsing around the place right now. We'll just stick together. We'll be fine. Let's go find them. We'll be fine. Words of Apollo Justice. We'll be fine. I'm fine. Exactly. All is are, fine. Uh, are, are Linda and Sheriff Green, um, are they looking for me? Why would they be looking for you? I was just with them. With Linda. When? Before I came here. Sure. Never mind. Which 
stick around. Wow, an actual normal room. I'll be damned. Dang it, Sin, I can't leave because you're blocking the door. That's progress. Doors, doors, doors. <laughs> Maddie, stop saying doors. I am so bad that I cut off that line. That was a great line. Oh, I hate that. Why don't you just continue talking? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. Wait, wait, I, I know this. D this was... No, no, I can't. Can't what? This belonged to one of Frank Stone's victims. Oh. Frank Stone? A killer. From the mill. But what is it doing here? I've seen it too. There was a book here that explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. I didn't even think it was real, but... So, should, like, one of us wear it for protection? Hey, uh, maybe we let the guy who almost got killed back there have a little extra insurance, huh? Wow, there's three choices. That's great. Yeah, sure, uh, Stan, um, you can take it. Okay, sure. You can take it. You, you can have fun with that. Still know exactly what that does, but... Looks boring. Still, can't judge a book by its cover. The Etymology of East England, the History of Lost Lows, Lows, and Other Hundreds by Dr. John D. Dollar. My guy's name is Dolark, and he just says it's boring. Hidden meanings. The changing nature of language often results in a lack of modern consensus on the etymology of certain place names. Even though they seem patently obvious, maybe hiding a myriad of meanings. For example, there's an East Anglican town named Woodbridge that historians doubt ever had a literal wooden bridge. Even if it had, such thing is unlikely to have been considered a noteworthy innovation given the town's layout and the technology of its old street court settlements. I just saw something the other day, uh, they were talking about Braveheart, and there's this big fight scene in the movie, and that fight scene is something called, like, the Battle of the Bridge, and there's no bridge in the, the, the battle, so the name of the battle is a little like the Battle of the Bridge, and yet there's no bridge in the movie that they're fighting over, and it's just, if you know the history, you're just thinking, that doesn't make any sense, how could they not have had a bridge, but yeah. Hello. Now that's not boring. Blood may be that which binds us to this world, for upon the spilling of his life's blood shall a man find himself moving into the next. That was weird. Just like glitch to the left. Uh, yeah, and for some reason there's... Looks like there's a claw on the right hand side of the screen. What is that? It must be Maddie's face or something. Why then, if a soul may naturally move from one reality to a higher one by the shedding of this blood, should we be surprised when such shedding may draw the gaze of that higher power reality? We might therefore conclude it's simply the act of taking life, not any passage of our souls that brings these worlds together. In so doing, we might form our own gates between this world and the other, and in so doing, perchance move through from while we yet live. Oh, what wisdom we might glean from the worlds of the ancients, what knowledge might be but a single sacrifice away. How to return is another matter, if the death of our own. Blood sacrifice made elder gods open a path to the realm. Huh? 
That is pretty slick. Hmm. Let's go. Yeah, sure. A secret passage. Why not? Especially one that's put in red light. Does everything have to be red light? The first time we found a secret passage. Okay, that's progress. This is Dr. Augustine Lieber conducting court mandated psychological session five with patient Frank Stone, March 28th, 1961. Wait, that's Augustine. Week since our last but 1961? Frank, an attack. That's on an over. Orderly. 60 years ago. Perhaps we could salvage this. Tell me, do you ever feel as though you have a higher calling? This instinct of yours to inflict pain on others, to punish them, I don't believe it is wholly errant. These sessions are all about taking responsibility, Frank. Not just for your past, but for your future, too. Yes. You have a future. And it could be boundless. You simply have to trust me. She reminds me of the snake from Jungle Book. Trust in me. Is that Jungle Book or is that Robin Hood? I mean, it's like the same snake in both uh, cartoons. Yes, it was a Robin Hood cartoon. Uh, it's awesome. If you've never seen it, go check it out. It's like Robin Hood's a fox or something. It's just really good. Oh, hello. Twins are creepy. That's just a fact. The bond emboldened by hatred. Cool. That's like the third time that thing's got me. Oh, I hate you, stupid. Oh, I want to punk kick that thing. Stupid doll, I swear. That doll. That doll, I hate that doll. I hate that doll. So I question nice. Trying against the darkness, I feel its hooks pulling me deeper into the mist. Ah! Okay, next time I'm replaying this section, I'm not going this way. Screw that doll. I was like, why can't I put it down? I press the circle and nothing's happening. And the next thing I know, the freaking thing jumps at me. Oh, we're here. You need to understand. Why should I? I don't even know you. Linda! I'm so glad you're okay. You're not gonna believe what happened. I found this totally crazy room, and this girl just came out of nowhere. Maddie, listen. This is not the Sam Green I knew from Cedar Hills. He is an imposter. We cannot trust him. I will admit. Time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one good reason. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece of the film you made. She's collecting every piece of that film that could have ever potentially existed. What is that even supposed to mean? Supportive. I don't know if I would have said this an hour ago, but after what I just experienced, I think Sam might be right. Augustine's lying to us. Whatever she's up to here, it's way, way Why did Chris over go? our heads. You should have seen this chamber and the girl. I don't trust Augustine, but I trust this man even less. At least whoever Augustine is, she's not pretending to be someone from your past. Where did Chris go? Linda? Linda! Speaking of. What, what happened? We were in the mill, and... What? You're so old! 
Oh boy. This, uh, this kind of thing, it, it can happen. Sometimes. <clears throat> Hooray! Stan, you're back! Oh, we miss you! <laughs> Yeah, it is. Technically, I'm the director. You got your piece of the film strip? Yeah. All right, let me see it. What's so important about these film strips? Maddie? I need to see the actual film. What? Where is it? No, 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 it was right here. It, it was right in here. Do you still have yours? So, uh, show it to me. Show me what you took from my son. I can't do that. You can't do that? I kind of, sort of, might have already made a deal with Augustine. <laughs> Before anybody else got here, I, I just went ahead. Empathic or empathetic. You didn't know. How could you know? I swear, if I had any idea whatsoever what a fucking whack job Augustine would turn out to be, I, I would have asked for at least double. And then I would have said no, thank you, and hightailed it right out of here, hand over heart. I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, Stan. Hey, you get what you wanted? You done with this fucking game? If she's had all the pieces of the film this whole time, why does she keep us here? What sacrifices? Exalmer sits down. I don't know why I never realized that before. But it's kind of obvious. The book says it. You know, sacrifices will bring the gods to you. Murder mill. You know, I have no idea how to get our people out of here alive. Be ready. Be ready. Sadly, she's doomed to die no matter what you do. It really sucks. I just kinda made my exit.
We were in the old machine shop. That's where Chris and Jaime and I found a way into Frank's hideout and... That was from... I know. Stay right here until I come back. Do you understand? But, Dad... Yeah, of course he's not gonna listen. I mean, he's not gonna listen. So, yeah, I'm in front of his chamber at, like, one in the morning. Teenagers. Don't listen to me, I can't protect you. And I just can't trust that you're gonna listen to me. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Hmm. Back here, a nightmare repeating itself. I gotta find them. Can you find like your hat or something down here? I don't think so. Oh, this, we jumped down from the furnace. Oh, we're going backwards. I just realized that. I I I don't think I ever did realize that. But yeah, we're going backwards. kids and their damn movie. <laughs> Linda. Find Jaime and Linda in the store. I right, mean, we gotta find Jaime first. This camera. Maybe it's the key to all of this. This isn't right. It feels like. How many collectibles do I have? I have all of these. I have those. So I basically have every single collectible now, I think. I know there's some more collectibles, but... Say, did he come behind me? Because I thought he appeared right here. Help. Help me, please help me. Uh. 
Hi, May. Help me! That's where we find him. Cool. Oh, Sam. Oh, thank God. Please help me. Shh. I'm sorry, son. This is gonna sting. God damn it. Ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready. That guy comes really fast. the others Chris is gone Linda it had her he had Amanda that thing Sister. just tossed her up on a hook like she was nothing and Linda she freaked the fuck out and she started filming it with the camera as if that was gonna hurt it but like I don't know how, but it did. It tried to get away, but Linda was gonna make that fucker pay for what it did to Bonnie. And when we followed it down here, didn't realize it had, had us where, where it wanted us until it was too late. Jaime. Your sister. I'm sorry. expect us to make a run for it the smart play is to stay put for now i'll come back for you as soon as i find linda aye aye captain are you gonna be okay <laughs> go pathetic pretty sure even though it's gonna be a longer video it's probably best to keep going to the end although i got one shot at this if i fail we're just gonna go to the end and then in the next episode, we will rewind backwards and try again. And don't forget, I still need to play through um, to see what happens when Chris comes back. I know I said this before, but I'll say again, I always get lost in these catacombs. Are you serious? I came all the way back to him? I did a I did a full circle. I don't think I'm doing circles. Oh, I hate this place. So directionally challenged. Then he put me in a maze. What's this? Oh, hello. Ugh. Spirit, the Phantom of Vengeance. Huh? Would have missed that if I didn't go back. I mean, I've already gotten it once, but... Would be nice to get everything in a playthrough. Out the right door. Follow the sounds. Linda. Yeah, I agree. We just got to find the door. It's 
not through here. These monstrosities are everywhere. No time to waste on this. Kind of cool how you get that in multiple spots in the game. Oh, I heard the music before I even saw him. There it is. There's the door. All right, finally. Let's do this. And no one's wounded either. Well, I don't know how she got like that, but can you stand? No one was wounded. She must have been attacked. Go. Get up. I'll hold it off. Cut away. You ready for anything? You ready for anything? Got to story. What? Saul has time for some quips. So he's the one that defeats Frankstown. Cool. Is it is it over? No. There's still one thing left we gotta do.
Kill this Augustine. I dig it there for a second. You got your damn movie. What more do you want? You, you lied to me. I did no such thing. Like hell you didn't. You promised me. It is no fault of mine if you misinterpreted what I promised you. My mom just died. You knew I was grieving and you took advantage of me. A traveler is only as strong as its vessel. You got a hell of a lot to answer for and a lot of hell to pay. Back away. I'm sorry. It's too late. I'm so sorry. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Fucking piece of shit. No. It's a horrible fate. God. This whole scene is fantastic. Is the music and all. That is Frank Stone. We gotta go. We, we gotta run. Now! All right, well, let's do this. Got one shot. Already in an hour. Got one shot, playlist. Where is it? Maybe it's knocked out from the power cut? Shit. That's how we got down here. We go left, left or right, though? Uh, well, you know, left is always right, so I think I should probably go left. First thing I'm gonna do, though, is get these items out of here. Please tell me you understand what... What? What the fuck just happened back there? Yeah. Believe me, I wish I knew. I think there's a card inside of Talk to Augustine Lieber. If we can get that working, we could probably power the elevator. Let's try it. We didn't even check to see if the elevator worked. And yet they know the elevator doesn't work. And I love how people just know how to fix get generators. I would have no idea what to do. Give me a part and I'm just throwing the part at the machine.
Uh, issue date 41760, date for renewal 4765. This car has lost stolen and misplaced, reported immediately to security office. Cedar still reserves the right to revoke security access at any time in case of emergency or safety concern. Name Dr. Augustine Lieber, function psychiatric doctor. De Department Pie Dreams Rehabilitation Program External. Clearance level unrestricted access to mill and surrounding grounds. Alright, we got this. We got this. We got this. We've been prepping all game for this moment. This is what Dead by Daylight's like. Nerve wracking. Trying to fix something while a monster chases you. Huzzah! Let's go! Do you think that fixed the elevator? Tinker. I guess we're gonna find out. Here at all generators. Ah, uh, please don't left. Please don't let left always be right. Let me down now. Well, we had to help her. God, what do I choose? Um, I have to help her. Stay away from her, you son of a bitch! Did I make the right choice? I think I made the right choice. I I thought for a second there I failed. No, I made the right choice. Go. All distracted. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, maybe I didn't make the right choice. No. Oh, Linda. You're not going down. That's right. That's not left. Oh, I'll game. him. Fuck, did I ever end up here? <laughs> Madison, I'm so glad we're finally able to talk one on one. The fuck are you? What have you done? Ah, uh, yes. A regrettably unavoidable series of misfortunes. I don't expect you to understand everything at play here, but suffice it to say, one cannot make a proverbial omelette without breaking the proverbial eggs. Eggs? We're not fucking eggs. You you lied. You cheated, manipulated, and, and now there's some kind of horrible monster hunting us. I have never lied to you. Oh, give me a fucking break, lady. I can make your nightmares go away. I will make them go away. All this pain. All this trauma. Gone. You just need to tell me you want me to. Screw you. Let me just think it over. Go fuck yourself. Then I'm so very sorry for you. No, you're not. <laughs> Too bad we can't just cap her. Now what? All right, go ahead, man. Well, not Linda, though. All right, flight list, don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. You got one shot. No pressure now. No pressure. Oh. <laughs> that was close. I wasn't expecting it to be that close. I feel like I'm playing Shadow Hearts right now. Let's go, go. 
All right. Don't need to tell me twice. Where did Linda go? I already killed you once, Frank. And I'll do it again if I get the chance. I've never done this perfectly. Come on, Flyless. Got this. Nerve-wracking, that is. Oh, we're still here. Chris? Can we go back? Sure. What do we just do? go hold still let me clean you off huh and we'll get it on this one if we don't you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. This is the beginning of the game. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth it, though. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. The heck is happening? Okay, sound speeds. Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh, uh. The heck is going on? They just go back. She literally Frank went Stone back. Is finally, the man like, he way, was way back. Be my champion. A killer. Well, I mean, what does that mean with the timeline the then? The bleed between like, which one's the real Chris? They both feel apart by sacrifice. And I have so many questions right now. All will be swallowed by the entity's power. And what of me? The one who served up this world for it to devour. I'll oblige as its faithful servant, existing only to drink in its knowledge, share in its glory. I am Augustine Lieber, and I have brought the entity to your world.
so many questions. So basically she became Sam, right? Whereas Sam likes to jump between worlds, she basically became the new version of Sam, trying to stop the entity from, from coming. All these lifetimes of toil and torment, all for this beautiful moment of sublime perfection. Almost unbearably so. Say bad night. I bear to you the offerings. I humbly await my reward for loyal service. Unending. Your eternal reward. Who said that? That was a movie. Like you shall get what you want. Do it, turn of you were. <laughs> oh, that was Jafar. Yeah, Jafar and Alana. I think I got anyone killed. Well, we did send Chris sort of back in time. It's confusing. Did I? Got any good advice for your old gal, Maddie Bear Mom? Sure could use a little help right now. Any help at all? Thanks. She's all alone, though. Where'd everyone else go? be real, right? It's not really there. Are we sure this is a good idea? This is the only way we know for certain. And we have to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. in there all right what do we do with it we are uh, we separate it we each take a piece then we take them as far away from each other as we possibly can and we never never let them come back together again it's over here Can't 
be our only option. We can't let it hurt anyone else. That's the bottom line. Okay. Film strips never should have come back together. <laughs> happens next is my responsibility. Mine. You just need to go live your life. Never think about this again. Never tell anyone about what happened. You were never part of it. You don't know anything. You understand? I've never seen that before. Really not now. I awake, unsure where I am. Then memory floods back, and I know our world is gone. Consumed Same as the by uh, a the realm beyond space, beyond time. Thanks to me. So can only one person make it here? We're not talking Thank to ghosts. God. What happened? It took me a second to what realize. What happened happened. And there is no more Stan. I thought you were a goner after what happened. I've been gone before, but I always come back. Hmm. I lost sight of Chris when we were attacked. Haven't seen her since. What did happen to Augustine? I saw her on my way out. And? She had something she wanted to say, but it wasn't worth hearing. Who are they? They were here long before I came. I don't like this. We need to keep going. Come on. Go where? Why haven't you left this campsite? Why are you just sitting here? The only thing we can do is help each other as much as we can be helped. Whether killing or surviving, the entity will play with our souls for all eternity. An endless hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice from which even death is no escape. And now, let the trial begin. 
That's some good stuff right there. A lot of cool new things at the end. Oh, that was wonderful! Entity displeased. Everyone survived. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put a small cut here. Uh, we'll talk more on the flip side. And of course it looks like this is always the same as well. So I think I need some assistance on what next to do. Uh, do, 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 do. I, I think, I think one of the things I need to do is have Chris not go through the portal. Another thing I need to do is have Chris go back in time. But what else do we do besides that? Is my question. I, I do think some people, uh, Jonathan suggested some things. But I'm not really sure on what else to do. So let me know in the comment section below and we can adventure through it. I mean, we're getting to the end of our Frank Stone Let's Play. I'm not gonna get the platinum. Obviously, I would have to replay the game all over again, going down the other paths, which I've already done. And, you know, I don't play a game just to get trophies. I play a game to have a lot of fun. Yeah, there's that. But let me know what else I can do, if you have any suggestions. In the next episode, after we complete it, I'll go back through all the collections and all the stuff and all the cutting room floor. Uh, I will definitely do that. But for now, my dear friends, I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.